you know how women or men like leather handbags, leather clutches and purses? I love leather. There is a company and some scientists that are apparently developing T-Rex leather. That's right. A leather made from a Tyrannosaurus Rex, an animal that's been extinct for 65 million years since the Cretaceous period. How are they doing this, you ask? Well, a few scientists, a biotechnology company, combined forces to come up with this grand idea of developing products made out of Tyrannosaurus Rex skin. Now, given the fact that we've never found T-Rex skin, we've never really found any soft tissue from a T-Rex, you gotta wonder how they're gonna do this. And the science is, the one bit of almost, and I'm doing air quotes here, soft tissue that they have of a T-Rex, is a piece of collagen that was found. It wasn't completely petrified, which means all the organic material that makes up that bone or skin or whatever hasn't been fully replaced with minerals yet, which is what fossilization is. Fossilization is there is no organic material, DNA, nothing left of the animal. It's been replaced by minerals, so by the rock. Using this collagen, the scientists have analyzed it and they've looked at the structure of it and they believe that they can recreate that collagen in a lab and apply it to leather. Now, that sounds amazing. Who the hell wouldn't want a leather product that is a recreated T-Rex skin? Who the hell wouldn't want that? I would get a jacket made out of that. That'd be sick. Oh man, what's that jacket you got on? Oh, it's leather. Oh wow, it's interesting texture. What is it? Oh, it's T-Rex. Like, what a status symbol. It's like you've gone out and hunted the bastard yourself like Roland Tembo in uh, The Lost World wants to shoot that buck. All I want in exchange for my services is the right to hunt one of the Tyrannosaurus, a male, a buck. Now that sounds great, but it's not gonna happen. And I'll tell you why. It's not as simple as getting collagen or organic material from a long extinct dinosaur and recreating it in a lab and then creating a synthetic leather out of it. Collagen is found in our skin things like that. Collagen is a series of protein strands. The biggest issue here is the collagen that was found in the T-Rex was found inside a femur bone. So it wasn't even skin collagen. How are they going to get collagen that is found in a leg bone and somehow manufacture that into skin? Not going to happen. Secondly, collagen contains no DNA. If you look at collagen structure under a microscope, basically all collagen looks the same oh, yeah, look alike. from animal to animal. It doesn't look that much different. If they were to take like a human being's collagen, look it under a microscope, yeah, the structure may be a little different, but not different enough to know what the skin is going to look like. What they can do is make an assumption of what the skin would look like and then turn into leather. I still don't know what science they are presuming to base this entire project on, but if they're basing it just on that sample of collagen that paleontologists found like decades ago, or at least a decade ago, that ain't happening. You cannot get collagen from a femur bone and somehow recreate skin out of that collagen. Leather and skin isn't collagen. Collagen gives it that elasticity and things like that underneath the skin, but it's not the skin. We don't even know what T-Rex skin looks like. So if they look at the, the structure of this collagen and they assume this is what its skin looks like, it's probably not what it looks like because we don't know what it looks like. They've got nothing to base it on. In fact, there are a lot of uh, very reputed paleontologists that think T-Rex was covered with a very short downy feather like covering not fully feathered like we see with the raptors but there was definitely a feathering of some sort from a distance you may not have noticed that it was 
feathered in a way. Uh, but up close, it's it's very possible that it did have little bristles of feathering down it. Much like when you see an elephant from a distance, you wouldn't think it had hair, but up close it's covered with hair. I have a feeling when they do this, these handbags are going to look very similar to the skin from the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, because that is what humans are familiar with. They see it on TV and they just assume that's what T-Rex skin looks like in real life, but the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park uh, weren't actual dinosaurs. They were genetically engineered to look scarier, to have that shrink wrap look. Like if you look at the raptors or the T-Rex, it looks like the skin is like shrink wrapped to their skeleton and muscles. When in actual fact, uh, dinosaurs like T-Rex had fat on them. They were chunky. They were fleshy. Again, we can only assume what its skin looked like, what color it was. So this company has no idea. There is no chance it is replicating Tyrannosaurus Rex leather that would actually resemble real life T-Rex leather in any way, shape or form. It's a cool concept, I really like it, but it's delusions of grandeur, I'm afraid. I'd still want to buy one though.